Hello everybody. Okay, so this video is basically to show you how to keep how to power your Wi-Fi router when there's a power failure in your area. Your laptop is probably fully charged, but you have no Wi-Fi. So the first thing probably um, to determine is to go to your Wi-Fi router setup and look underneath what the voltage requirements are. This one, it says here, uses 12 volts, 1 amp. Um, my fiber cable comes directly into this unit before going to the router part. And underneath here, you look for the same power requirements, what's needed. Um, I'm just trying to see if it's on here somewhere. My eyes are not the best. Um, this one doesn't really say. But you can ready yourself pretty much for 12 volt or 5 volt. Okay. So you can see it's off at this point. I'm simulating a power failure. Now, both these boxes use this kind of connector and there's a few of these around so you have to make sure that whatever um, plug you get is very close to to your setup what you have and basically it just plugs in there you'll see there and this one is really the same at the back so I mean this plug I've got here can fit here and it can fit there in my case they're both very close so even even though it might say 12 volt the unit the, the circuit board inside the circuitry might reduce it to only 5 volt and you'll only know that if you open them up but um, I don't really think you um, you know, that, that's beyond the scope of this. So, first thing you need to do, like I said, is you must determine how many, and if it says 12 volts, you're going to get, you're going to have to get something that's close to 12 volts. And there's a lot of ways that you can get 12 volts. You can use a car battery. Um, you can even look at the radio control industry, which have got a lot of 11 volt batteries, which will be fine for the setup. It takes a while for it to run down the batteries before it also dies. Um, this, you can even use this. This is a power bank. Obviously, you're going to have to modify this, which is again beyond the scope of this project. And they're quite powerful. This is a 4 amp unit. It will only put out um, 5 volts um, when it charges your phone. So you're going to have to modify this but there's other videos already covering that in my case because i fly radio control planes i had these batteries and this is a 12 volt 3.3 amp um, nickel metal and i had two of them so in my case i don't have to go and buy anything extra so all i did because i it uses these kind of plugs um, I made some pigtails which look like this. Now I had these plugs lying around. So all I had to do was put in a male plug on the other side. And when you do this you've got to make sure that your 12 volt, 12 volt positive is usually the center wire and this is the negative side. So you're going to have to make sure, if you don't know, you're going to have to Google that as well. So all I did and they're both 12 volt and you just plug it in and like I said I had another battery so I had two of them and all I did plug it in and it goes into the sockets 
and you'll see the lights are coming on. Now the fiber unit usually takes a while to come up. Let's just make sure. Oh, it was switched off. You can see the lights comes on. So I've, I ran this um, the other day for about four hours. That's how if we have a power failure on a schedule, it lasts four hours. And this thing, yeah, it lasted four hours. We had another power failure and I used the same batteries without charging them. And it lasted another four hours. So these batteries that I have here will last at least eight hours. That's like a whole day, and which is more. Usually by that time, the, the, the power will come back on. So it, it works great. Like I said in the beginning of the video, um, they both probably require 12 volts. I couldn't see this spec on this one, but this one does. But it might reduce it inside to 5 volt because these units use very, the circuitry today is, 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 is very efficient. Um, it probably reduces to 5 volt, um, 1 amp, and, or it might use 12 volt straight, which doesn't really matter as long as your, your, your battery that you have meet the requirement that's stamped on the bottom of the unit. And I mean, when your laptop is running and your Wi-Fi is running, it will keep you busy. And it's this is very simple. Other units might be different regarding plugs, but if you get you can get your hands on the plugs that they that they need, you can build yourself a nice um, battery backup unit. And like I said, you can use a, a power bank, which you're going to have to modify to give you 12 volt. Um, you can use a car battery, you can use a motorcycle battery. Um, you can even go as far as powering both off the same battery by just um, just splitting, by just putting two uh, power cables on, on the battery. You might even get away with that. I'm sure it'll power it, maybe not for as long, but it'll, it will definitely work. Um, so yes. This is how you keep your Wi-Fi going when there's a power failure. Thank you guys. Cheers.